Okay, so today I'm here with Johnny Ratner, a good friend of mine, and we're going to be discussing uh, a little, slightly philosophical question um, all about age. Um, it seems a little morbid, actually, when I come to think of it, but <laughs> it's quite fun. Okay, so my question to you, Johnny, is if you could live to any age, what would that age be? Um, and just to give this a little bit of depth, um, imagine you can, from this point onwards, sort of type in a metaphorical calculator your, the age you want to live to and that can be, it can be your 23? 23 at the so moment, it yes. it can be 25, it could be 65, it could be 105, however old, or it could be infinite. Okay. And you have to um, just ignore health, ignore the actual state of which you'll be living in because that will be taken care of. So what age do you think you would live to? What age do I think I would live to? Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a personal thing, like what age would you want to live to? Yeah, it doesn't tally with what age I, th I, I actually want to live to. I probably think I'll live to. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I live a relatively healthy lifestyle. Okay. I, I think I'll probably live till I'm 92. Okay. Although I do but want what the telegram. Age do you want to live to? Oh, right, sorry. Uh, I probably would want to live to. Like you can choose any age. <sighs> I'd probably say about 104, because I want the telegram from the Queen. It's quite, um, specific. It's very specific. 104, 105, because I want the telegram, but right. then I want a couple of years to enjoy... The telegram. To Just stare at it. The celebratory feeling of having the telegram and, like, getting... Okay. You know, people coming up to me in the streets and saying, you were 100, weren't you? You are amazing how long you've lived to. Um, but don't you think that, especially in um, well, this changing age, 100's not going to be special soon? No, and I read a recent study actually that you know more and more people are living longer. That we might be living to like 115, yeah, would you 30 not be years. Better putting in 200 maybe and being really special. I would like to be special, but I don't know if I'd get a bit bored if I lived to 200. I'd like to be infinite. Infinite. I'd You'll never. Forever. You'll live on forever. Yeah, I think it'd be so Immortal. cool to just. Yes. And uh, you know, just float around. I don't know. We'd, who knows what the Earth's going to be like in 10, 20 years? Let alone like billions. Prospects terrifying, isn't it? Because things yeah. change so yeah. quickly all the time. And, I find it yeah. really exciting though. I'd love to watch all of that, but of course, because you know, health and stuff isn't taken into account, you would just kind of watch it, watch it happen, and maybe that would be horrible, but maybe that would be equally amazing. You know, everyone thinks of the future as this really dystopian, like doomed thing, but I, I don't think so. I think it could, it could, it has potential to go well. So, I, I'd love to sort of just flit around in space, really, and just. Well, exactly. Yeah. This whole kind of theory of having flying cars and kind of like everybody kind of, you know, being able to like fly to work and stuff. Mm. It's just, you know, people have had this theory in their mind for ages, but it's been proven that you can never predict the future. And it's no, always, it. It, you know, it's always different, you know, to what we expect it to yeah, be. I'd yeah, I'd say so. So that's what I do. But um, everyone's really, this is such a like subjective question. Um, because it is totally, totally personal. Yes. It's whether, you know, it's how you've been brought up. You think of these people who, in the sort of more developing countries, can only live to 46 or, you know, less, if, if that. So it's just quite an interesting thing, I think. If, if you could live for uh, as long as possible, how, would you, how long would you live for? It's just a weird concept. I'm rambling. It, no, not at all. It's bizarre <laughs> to think that, you know, one day we could live till we're like 200 or beyond. Yeah, I think so. But age itself is just really random. Like, we, we whack a number on it and yeah. we say this is this number represents progression of time. But really, I mean, it's just a, a process of, you know, growth and decay. We're mm. like plants, we're like fences. I'm looking outside of my garden fence. <laughs> it's like a fence, yep. Yeah. Um, with, 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 with the rotting, decaying trees yeah, around us and know, flowers? You, yeah, yes. you do. You sort of just go in a cycle, but we've put a number on it. That's all we've done, really. So You're absolutely right. I mean, just like, you know, plants wilt and, you know, trees will one day die. You know, we... I, we aren't infinite, but it, the, the idea that we'd live forever is just... It's weird. It's really weird, isn't it? It's really weird, but I like I it. Love it. Yeah. I love it, yeah. I would love to... I'd, I definitely would love to live at least, like, 500 more years. At least. But how would you how would you occupy those five hundred years? It's, oh, it's a I long, long time. Fun. Yeah, you know, could always find something. Find something to do. Well, Imagine how wise yeah. you'd be after five hundred years. I'm just saying. I know. <laughs> you make Albert Einstein look like a like a grade six, grade <laughs> six high school student or something. It'd Pretty be amazing. Much. 
But uh, I do find age fascinating and everybody's affected by it, which is yeah. why we're all so interested in it. What age would you live to if you could choose on your metaphorical calculator? And yeah, see you next time.